Oyster mushrooms, that first batch of spawn that I set out here that was on sawdust. Um, the, <laughs> if you recall from previous videos, the spawn I grew on bird seed <laughs> was eaten by the birds. Um, so I switched the sawdust as a substrate. That's worked out, and the first batch that I spawned out here has been fruiting repeatedly. It's really been doing well. I don't know if they're all going to take hold that well. But I had some for breakfast. I took a nice big clump of oysters out of here, had them with my eggs. There you can see a real nice clump of them right there. Ah, there are more of them under here. Yep, got more of them there. And it looks like uh, they are. They're running into the log. So they're coming out on the log where I spawned them. Um, they're all very exciting, frankly. Yeah, we got more of them right there, too. Uh, they're coming up pretty nice. This has been working really good. They're popping up from underneath the logs over here. The spawn is running really nicely through the chips here. Um, I just got to have Joe come by and bring me another load of chips. I want to start on the other side of the driveway with it, too. Uh, the oyster and the wine cap have so far been the most successful as far as getting them to grow in situ here in the property. Um, I've had a few of the amandagaric. They do come up. Uh, so far, they haven't fruited with much abundance. We'll see how that works out. Maybe my substrate isn't to their liking. I'm not sure. But definitely the wine caps and the oysters real easy. I mean, they're coming up through cardboard, you know. The oysters are actually eating newspapers, cardboard. They didn't need anything as exotic as wood chip or compost. So, yeah. all very exciting. Makes me smile when I come out and I see all the little oysters sticking up out of my garden in the morning. Aloha, Angloose.